Okay, very uh, good afternoon to all. Good afternoon. Okay, so uh, let us start. I welcome you all for the uh, next lecture of this uh, chapter number six. So we will start now. Uh, chapter number six, reliability evaluation of systems. So what are what we will be discussing in this chapter? So uh, at very first we will get some knowledge about what is RBD, reliability block diagram. Then uh, what is series configuration? What is parallel configuration? And what are the different mixed configurations? Redundant system. High level versus low level redundancy. Then K out of N redundancy. After series and parallel, then you will come to know what is this K out of N. And complex configuration. Then network reduction and decomposition methods and cut and tie set approach for reliability even. Okay, so uh, let us start. Prerequisites. So uh, before this, uh, what we have discussed, we already discussed about this uh, definition of reliability and basic reliability functions like uh, cumulative failure distribution and failure density, hazard risk function. So these are different functions that we have already discussed. The estimation of these functions for a population of identical components through a test generated data. And the uh, what is the objective of this? So uh, the main objective of getting estimate of these functions is to get an estimate of the reliability of the component of which sample is tested. So now the reliability of component. Now we are much familiar with the uh, reliability of any component. Then after uh, having the content, what we have discussed, uh, the students will be able to explain how the reliability depends on the component reliability and system structure. So there are two different aspects. The component is same with reliability and let us assume 0.9, but the system structure is changed, series, parallel, hybrid, or mixed. The reliability of system changes. And if the component is changed, the system is same. Again, it will have the effect on system reliability. So these two are different aspects as per well as, well as this reliability of system is concerned. Then estimate the system reliability. So very first, the students will uh, come to know about the effect of this component uh, reliability and system structure. And then the, the student will be able to estimate the reliability of a system based on this uh, configuration, maybe parallel series or mix. And uh, by knowing the component reliability and having some formula, students will able to estimate the, or predict the system reliability. And further, they will also be in a position to which of the component the probability or reliability should be increased so that it will have a significant effect on the increase in the reliability of the system. So if there are three components, then on which the attention is required to be paid. So we will have friends say from numerical based on this and through numerical you will come to know that how uh, this exercise is there and after that we will have some inferences after that numerical and then what I am saying that having uh, increasing the reliability of different components by some percent and maximum effect we are getting at one condition and what is that condition that we will discuss so in short in general we can say that how to increase the reliability of a system by increasing the reliability of a particular segment and that what is that particular component that we will discuss after having the numeric. Let us start. What is the system? So system is a collection of component or subsystem assembled to perform a specific task. So system world we have heard here before many times maybe from our 8, 9, or 10 system and surrounding and these different words we have heard. So what is system? System is a collection of component or subsystem. So there are different components that are assembled. It may be called as the system or there may be some of the subsystem. The subsystems made of component 
and four five sub systems are getting uh, assembled and a system is formed to perform a specific task this is very very generalized definition of system so now typical system structure what are the different system structures so uh, a series structure parallel system and uh, redundant system so there are these three different systems so we are much more familiar what we will call it as a series and what we will call it, call it as a parallel arrangement just keep in mind the parallel also called as redundant system so it is not always the case that there are we have to use only these two systems so there may be or at the many times uh, it is a requirement of the particular uh, system to go for series as well as parallel arrangement and not only single in series there are again many sub series and sub parallel arrangements may be there so the as per the demand the typical structures will be changed so basics i will um, highlight you the first is series system second is parallel system and third one is combined a combination of series and parallel system and we will uh, have these three systems we will discuss one by one so then what is system reliability system reliability stands for reliability of a system consisting of two or more components it is difficult to estimate the reliability of system composing of many elements therefore and there is system methodology following approach is used to determine the reliability of a system so if there is only one component having reliability of 0.9 another component reliability 0.8 means 80% 90% whatever i am telling the values in fraction so friends for this case if the two, these two components are uh, formed grouped together to perform a specific task or a function then i will call it as a system and then the reliability of system is nothing but system reliability two or more components and as the number of component going on increasing again it is difficult to have uh, uh, estimate about the system reliability and there are certain steps one method is required to follow in order to calculate or estimate the reliability of a system so these are general guidelines given so very first reliability of a sub system and individual components of the system is determined so see if there are five components in the system so before calculating for the reliability or system reliability we should know the individual reliability of that particular component if there are when or there is one main system and if there are in the main system there are five three different sub systems are there and in that three sub systems again components are so we should know the reliability of components and we should calculate the reliability of sub system so in order to calculate or determine the reliability of a system we should know at very first the reliability of the components or the reliability of sub system step number the next step second the manner in which the sub system and components are arranged in the system is identified so logical manner in which elements are arranged represented in block diagram so here you can see friends we have to go for a block diagram of the system or have a look towards the block diagram of the system and then you will come to know the manner in which sub systems or components are arranged let us for example there may be a series there may be parallel or there may be combination of series and parallel so step number 1 we should have the reliability of sub system or individual component step number 2 let us see whether it is series parallel or a combination of series and parallel it is nothing but the step number 2 what is written once again i will go for the manner in which sub systems and components are arranged in the system is identified how they are arranged it is nothing but friends let us have a look towards the configuration whether they are arranged in series 
whether they arrange in parallel or whether there is a, an arrangement of combination of series and parallel. Next step number three, based on the manner in which the subsystems are connected, the probability rules are applied to find the system reliability. Very simple. If it is a series, again there are rules. We will discuss some formulas for calculation of the system reliability for a series configuration. If it is in parallel, then there are uh, again certain rules and formulas for calculating the system in parallel. And if it is combination of series and parallel. Go for calculating the subsystems, and then apply the uh, rules of series and parallel, and then finally calculate the determine the reliability of the system. So in this way, one can go for determining the system reliability. Okay. So once again, I will repeat. There are major uh, three stages. So system reliability is the calculation of reliability of a system consisting of two or more components. One component directly we can call it as a uh, can say component. So if there are two or more components, it is becoming somewhat difficult to calculate, and there is a systematic approach is required. So in this there are two three steps. So uh, we should know first the reliability of subsystems or individual components in it. Then how they are arranged. So what is the configuration? If it is series. If it is parallel, or if it is a combination of series and parallel, and third is based on the manner in which the subsystems are connected. For example, they are series connected, then use the rules or formulas for series. If they are connected in parallel, use the uh, formula for parallel, and if they are for in series and parallel, the combination is used. Accordingly, we have to solve the problem and calculate the system reliability. Friends, let us have a look towards reliability block diagrams. What is this RBD? RBD, a logic diagram representing the arrangement of the components. In very very simplest language, how the components are arranged? Arrangement, a logical diagram which represents the arrangement of the component. It is nothing but RBD. Okay. The reliability block diagram. So, friends, it is a systematic representation or a model. It shows the reliability structure of a system. So, whether it is series, whether it is parallel, and whether it is mixed approach. So, these RBDs they can be used to determine. If the system is operating or failed, very very important. Whether the system is uh, operating as per the requirement or system is failed, by uh, using these RBDs, one can go for this. Then, given the information, whether each block is in operating or failed state, and by having a look towards these uh, RBDs, one can easily predict that whether all components are working or any of the block is not working, it is failed and uh, it is not operating condition. So, a block can be viewed as switch. That is closed when the block is operating, and open when the block is failed. So this is some terminology. So a block can be a, there are different blocks. The block is uh, switch is block is nothing but a switch. If it is closed, it is operating. If the block is open, it is not operating. System is operational if a path of closed switches is found from input to the output. So input output these are two stages, and in the assume that one, two, three, four, five blocks. Are If all switches are closed, all blocks are working, and from input to output, all closed switches will be there, and it will indicate that the system is operational from input to output stage. Friends, this is nothing but a generalized diagram. So again, before proceeding further, I want to highlight here something. so this is a you can say very very general light diagram you can say here input it is high light and here you can say this is output and this is a combination i have taken so you can say this one number and two number this is nothing but a parallel arrangement then this unit and three number is in series then four and five 
these are the in series and we can say i will highlight with some other color this is one sub system this is one sub system and these two systems are parallel and again whatever this series that you will get this is in series with number 6 so see it is a combination of series parallel series parallel so in the initial i have taken some more difficult but in this example you will come to know all the things in this particular example okay so this is a typical uh, rbd reliability block diagram okay now moving to next about this uh, rbd so it is combinatorial non state space model type combination here it may be series may be uh, can say parallel or this combination of two again at every junction it may be series it may be parallel and we should be in a position to calculate the reliability of the system each component of the system is uh, represented as a block so they, we have seen there are different blocks 1 2 3 4 5 6 so what are the different components they are called as a, uh, block so we will call this each component as a block system behavior is represented by connecting the blocks so what is the behavior of the system so this 1 to 6 whatever the blocks are how they are connected it defines the nature again there are different formula we will estimate the performance or we can say reliability according blocks that all are required see very first important thing all blocks are necessary it is not the case that a single block is missed the line will not functional and it will not operate such case series is required so that all should be connected in series and blocks among which only one is required they are connected in pair so whether the all blocks are compulsory we have to use all the blocks if we will not use any of the block it may not function properly so whether all these are operational or functional in such case you can call it as series and when the blocks there are 10 blocks and in at a, a, any junction of time real time at any one block should be operational so it may be number 1 it may be number 9 it may be number 6 it is not the case that all 10 should operate for any any function so you can say this is parallel out of 10 only one is okay then also system will and at least k out of n are required then use k n structure see all are required let us take example if there are uh, 10 blocks 10 out of 10 are required series only one required out of 10 go for parallel and k out of n see here k out of n it is nothing but i will say that 6 out of 10 are required so in this case we can say so in this case we will call it as k out of n are required so k of n structure so first all are required series only one required parallel and you can say 7 out of 10 11 out of 20 whatever may be the requirement if something out of something it is called as k of n structure it is also important okay so these are the different system behavior can these blocks are connected in such a way that you will get series you will get parallel you will get combination or you will get this k and n series then k out of n also it is one of the type maybe it is combination of series and parallel next failure of individual component are assumed to be independent of for easy solution so there may be the case that if one component fail the nearest or neighbor component whatever near component in the close proximity of that particular component is there it will fail but for calculation purpose for easy solution purpose this is not assumed so what is assumed friend that failure of individual component 
are assumed to be independent for eg solution failure is assumed failure of one component or any component is independent individual component is independent is assumed there may be the case that this one component is fail due to whatever the, the we can say the chemical chemical composition or physical or state or something having other effect etc etc the nearest component may fail but for easy solution purpose this is this effect is neglected so this is nothing but this failure of individual components are assumed to be independent for easy solution next so let us discuss about this series parallel reliability block diagram rbd <coughs> sorry so in series system all components or sub system must function properly not a single component is allowed to fail this is very important in series case so in series system all the components or sub system must function so we have already discussed that when all components are required then and then only we will call it as a series and in the series system any all should be function properly not a single component should fail if any one component fail the complete system will fail so you can see here in the diagram see there are different components shown component 1 2 3 4 5 so you you see here 1 2 3 4 4 and you can connect to many so this is component number 1 component number 2 component number 3 component number 4 let us assume that r1t is the reliability of component number 1 with respect to t at time t r2t is the reliability of component number 2 r3t is the reliability of component number 3 and r4t is the reliability of component number 4 and these all are in series this indicates friends when let us assume that if two will fail then complete system will stop it will not work it will be having effect on complete system so this is one of the consideration significant factor as per as this selection of series combination is considered okay so here uh, input is at one side it is shown input at other side it is output so you can observe here this is input and then this is output and the component 1 2 3 4 are organized in series now what where are the applications of this so some computer networks are there for this the series is required then chains multi cell batteries are there so there are different chains then there are different multi cell batteries and then decorative tree light so it is also one of the case so decorative whatever lighting is there it is of series type the all the whatever small lamps or bulbs they are there they are connected in a series combination so these things are required introduction to series system suppose a system has n components from reliability point of view the components of system are said to be in series configuration if they are connected in such a way that when i will call that all components are connected in series from reliability point of view that for the successful operation of the system all n components must perform their intended function see intended function for which we have attached that whatever the desired function is there so we will call them as in series combination from reliability point of view only when or oh, this successful operation of the system all l component must perform their intended function so let us assume that there are 100 components 100 out of 100 are performing the uh, we can say their function desired function so all n components must perform the intended function this is first condition and second 
only one needs to fail per system failure. So if there are 100, 99 are working in good, excellent condition, only one fail, then also fail, system fail. So this is the, you can say drawback or uh, significant point required to be considered for series combination. The string of light, bulbs or LEDs used in festival, used in wedding, is a, we are, what we have discussed, uh, we are observing in festival like Diwali that you observe. So it is a good example of this series system. The system performs successfully when all bulbs or LEDs are working. And let us assume that any one bulb fail, then many are or whether any one bulb fail and all other are working till that continue whatever the uh, series of this LED will not work. So nowadays, again, they are taking much more care. So many new solutions. See, this is kept for example. Huh? Again, you will say that you now there are some cases that if four will fail again, it is not working like that. So there may they might have used this N type concept, K out of N line. This concept might have used by them. So we are discussing friends about this series combination. Is it understanding, Madhavananji? Yes, yes. Okay, so whatever it, what space we are doing now, numerical is not started. Can we continue with the same speed? Yes, sure. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So, uh, series system we are discussing, friends, and this next uh, n statically independent components. So, these are the some mathematical terms. Uh, uh, we will discuss about the formula, and the formula is required for calculation of the numerical as far as this uh, reliability topic is concerned. So here friends, uh, series system, n statically independent components. There are n components in the system. EI, it defines the component I is functioning properly. So the all components are functioning properly. There are n number of components. Let Ri, reliability of any I component is nothing but the probability of E means functioning properly. What is mentioned? Once again, I will repeat. EI, it defines the component is functioning properly. And RI is the reliability of ith component for, or it is governed by probability of EI. Means it is nothing but probability of the component is functioning properly. And if we can say the system reliability, so when we are discussing about system, up till now we have discussed about this individual component also. So if I will, uh, I want to discuss about the system. E, EI denote for what basically? Uh, it, it is it is a function. So uh, in our formula, we uh, it is not required to use EI. So these are the some mathematical terms. Uh, we, when we will go up to end, that at uh, that junction you will come to, uh, no. EI, EI, I is the any ith number. So if we will take one, two, three, four, five, six, then I stands for one, two, three, four, five, six. And here E is used for, the component is functioning properly for that that e is used and p stands for the probability r stands for the reliability okay, okay. so uh, now here you can okay. say the okay. system reliability so here uh, system reliability so system reliability we can say ris is equal to p system is functioning properly so system reliability is nothing but the probability of the system is functioning properly. Probability of the system is functioning properly. These are theoretical terms. And now we will convert these in mathematical terms. So now reliability is nothing but the probability. And later on, it will be a function of time. So if we will, uh, uh, we can say, uh, move towards formula. So uh, there are two uh, different terms. So this is, you can say, uh, it will take E1 inverse E2 inverse E3 dash 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 up to N. And then it will becomes probability of E1 into probability of E2 into probability of En. So whatever that reliability is there, it is nothing but ultimately what we are getting, it is the probability of first component will function properly into probability of second component will function properly into probability of third component will function properly. Dash, dash, dash. I am trying to uh, convert this mathematical term into some of, uh, we can say, some simple terms. 
okay so now uh, let us move towards the formula so we will uh, get the formula okay so this is our formula see uh, here we have said that the system reliability is nothing but probability of first component functioning properly into second component into third component so and probability is nothing but we can say the r is given by probability so reliability so next it is written as and i will explain this formula also mm. and we will take one example also so reliability of system so reliability of system is the uh, summation of product so this symbol is summation of product i from 1 to n r i so whatever components are there the product of the reliability we can call it as system reliability for example here r n is shown i will assume time being r 3 so if there are three components and the three components are arranged in series then i will say system reliability is equal to r1 reliability of first component into r2 reliability of second component into r3 reliability of third component so this is nothing but the system reliability as per as series is concerned so whatever the reliability is of first component second component third component up to i i may be 1 to n so the product of the different reliability will give you the system reliability for series combination this is for series combination so this is simple product law of reliability is applicable to series system of independent component and again friends we will solve uh, two three numerical so that uh, we will be in a position to address this point much better okay so let us start a uh, numerical okay so evaluate the reliability of series system having the reliability block diagram as shown in figure as this is first numerical it is not required to draw the block diagram in exam or if the block diagram is ready made given for example it is a combination of series and parallel it may be given ready and if it is not given ready made and if only the wording are given we will take one problem like that also then it is not at all required that you should go for drawing a diagram this is just for your understanding purpose as this is the first numerical okay evaluate the reliability of series system having the reliability block diagram as shown in figure for a mission of 500 hours where the given reliability of components are for a mission of 500 hours so it is generalized one term is used that component should complete 500 hours and for this mission reliability is given assume that the failure of any component does not affect the functioning of other components so what we have discussed that if component number 1 fail this is basic assumption it will have no effect on second if second fail it will have no effect on third as per as component is concerned the system will fail because this is the we can say uh, series combination system so what how you can go for evaluate the reliability of the series system so here there are four reliabilities given so uh, you can go for a diagram and just i will show uh, i will write out and then i will give some time for you wait so here if you want to go for 1 2 3 4 as this is first numerical you can so i will say here i will assume this as component number 1 component number 2 component number 3 and component number 4 then i will say here as r1 is equal to 0 0.6 this is given data r2 is equal to 0 0.75 r3 is equal to 0 0.95 and r4 is equal to 0 0.8 these are the uh, given reliabilities now here solution we know that the reliability of series is equal to product of individual reliability of the components 
okay so you can uh, write here reliability of system is equal to just what we have discussed here i is equal to 1 to n and here ri this indicates the product so i will say here four components are there so very simple r1 into r2 into r3 into r4 this is the simplest that we are taking so reliability you can write here for for uh, we can say series so for series system this is the formula and now r1 r2 r3 r4 so this is this i will write in front 0.6 into 0.75 into 0.95 into 0.8 and then i will write reliability is equal to just multiply and this is this answer is valid for for emission of this is just target and this form of this 500 hours has to nothing to do with what our answer is there yeah, okay so can you tell answer Point three four two. Okay, very good. Zero point three four two. Four two. Okay, very nice. So this is the simplest problem. And now, uh, can we proceed for next numerical? Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay. So we will take two three numericals. Second is having some different, and third is totally different. In this way, we will take. Okay, now this is second example. So I will read it slowly and then we will proceed. A truck cab assembly line is under the development. The line will utilize the welding robots. And now here are two cases given. Each robot has 95% reliability. What is the total robot system reliability reliability for the line? This is question number one. Each robot has 95% reliability. How many robots are there? If you use five welding robots are there. So five robots and 95% means 0.95. In fraction, we have to take. We, if we will discuss in percent, we will multiply it by 100. So this, this is first answer. First, we have to solve for. If the robot system reliability of 95% what must be the individual robot reliability this is another question we have to solve for this in different way so uh, let us uh, move first what is asked at first i will say case number a case number a okay what is reliability given Five welding robots each has 95% reliability. R1, R2. You say then let us assume the uh, reliability of welding robot as R1, R2, R3, R4, I5, R5 for five robots. Then R1 is equal to R3 is equal to R4 is equal to R5 is equal to 0 0.95. This is given data. Okay, very first. And this is a serious system. This is a series system so now we have to calculate the total system reliability so you can see here res for t now you can directly say r1 into r2 into r3 into r4 into r5 okay so i will say 0 0.95 0 0.95 0 0.95 0 0.95 into 0 0.95 so i will say 0 0.95 raised to 5 very simple and you will get the system reliability is equal to you will get one answer for this
0.7 okay very nice 0.7 7, 3, 7, 8, or you can say 0 0.34 if you want to round up. So this is not complete problem over. This is a partial problem. Now B. Huh, what I want to assure you, let us see, reverse back. So if the individual reliability is 95%, 0 0.95, the system reliability is 0 0.77, 77.37%. Now, what is the second case? If robot system reliability is 95, what is given here? Here is this reverse way we have to solve the problem. So here system reliability is given and we have to calculate the individual component reliability. System reliability is equal to 95% means 0 0.95. I am discussing about now this second case. Now, friend, system reliability is given. Okay. And again, all the components are same efficiency or reliability. So I can say RS is equal to 0 0.95 is equal to what is this? This is nothing but R. Sorry. R1, R2, R3, R4, R, 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 I means R, I raised to 5. And this I is nothing but 5. That R1, R2, R3, R4, R5. And it is mentioned that all are having the same. So I will say here R, I raised to 5. So can you calculate R, I is equal to fifth root of 0 0.95. R i is equal to fifth root of 0 0.95. So you will be in a position to calculate. What is the answer? 0 point. What is the answer? Zero point nine eight nine eight. Nine eight nine. So this is the reverse way. Assume that in the initial stage it is given zero point nine eight nine eight zero point nine eight zero point nine eight zero point nine eight zero point nine eight. If I will go for zero point nine eight raised to five, I will get the answer as system reliability point nine five. In the first case, reliability is given. System reliability is. In the second case, system reliability is given, and it is said that all the five reliabilities are same, and the component reliabilities are asked. So this may be the question, and if the question uh, your exam will be of this, so we can say a uh, MCQ based type, then this type of question. Apart from the theoretical question, if the examiner want to have some uh, small numerical based for one or two marks, the examiner can go for this one or two marks, and these questions may give just fit to this one or two marks. Okay, so now let us proceed further. The last problem for series, and then we will move towards parallel. Let us see. 